everybody, we are at Universal Rocks in Dallas, Texas, and Ed and I are here to load up a huge box truck full of the reptile decor that's gonna be set up at our zoo. But we figure since there's always something exciting happening over here at Universal Rocks, we're gonna go find Stuart and ask him to show us what's new. Oh, he's got the spas running. Oh. Look at this! Remember when we were here last time, these were all empty? They're finished! They're running! They look amazing! Uh, like I said, there's always something new. Alright, I guess we should go find Stuart. Let's go find him. You all know Stuart. He and his wife own Universal Rocks, and you remember him from the last time we were down here. And I think what we should do is probably check out what's new here yep. before uh, looking at what we're going to bring back with us. Is that okay? That would be a really long video, so maybe we'll do some <laughs> snippets of what's new. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> so, swimming pool waterfalls is a huge thing of our business, part of our business, has been for 23 years, okay? okay. So in this case, this is our Sunbake Falls. Okay, so wow. this is 12, 13 feet wide, over six feet at the back. So you imagine you've got a swimming pool, a swim in under here, and have seating in here. So now you're sitting in with the water pouring over in amongst your swimming pool. So this is this is brand new. I haven't haven't installed one. I've sold two of them, but I haven't installed one yet. So the plan so is to have water flowing. Pours off here. Really? So then yep. you can like swim because the swimming pool is going to be underneath it. Correct. So you swim through the waterfall and you can sit Absolutely. behind the waterfall. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can stand along this. There's steps here. See the steps to get up. Oh, this, cool. th this was to go all the way up on top and then you can sunbake up on top. And Oh my gosh, that's yeah. awesome. I didn't realize you could use it for like tanning on top of it. There you go. That is cool. I really yeah. like that. Well, they're yours. They're going in your your habitat, your no, zoo, really? your environment. Yes. Aww. So a little bit of tweaking on site with all the leaves. They're just resting in there at the moment, but ready to put in your truck. Oh my gosh! Yes. Where are we gonna put these? These are awesome. <laughs> those are awesome. And then there's heaps of these vines. So they're gonna get wrapped around here as well. Wow. And then we can do some other things with, do you remember me showing where we had some epoxy? Cause often you'll get like sap dripping out of a tree or oh, a yeah. wet spot. So on site, we'll mix up some of this epoxy oh. and we'll pour it in these. So this will look like a weeping sort of rainforest tree in there and it'll look amazing. Yeah. We can yeah. have these in the zoo, like where in the aisles, you think, Absolutely. where people are walking. Yes. Oh, it's gonna give like a total like rainforest theme, That's, even yeah. outside of the enclosure. Absolutely. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You even got like the details of like the knots of the tree in here. It looks so realistic. Yeah. Well, that, that's one of the real good aspects of what we do is we get really good molds. So we go into nature and get those or buy rocks and bring them back or trees. In this case, I actually went with my wife on a bit of a vacation through Florida. And um, while I was there, I went to a place that had a lot of trees. And we actually, this tree had been knocked about big time from the um, tornadoes or hurricanes or whatever you call them over there. Yep. And um, I brought these trees back here from Florida. Wow. So then we took molds of those. So this is the exact replica. I always forget that, that you mold these off of actual trees and real rocks. Yep. And that's how you get all these details. Absolutely. So I don't think this was here last time we were here. Is this new? This is brand new. I literally okay. finished that yesterday. This is not normal for us. We don't have many formal type water features. Everything's really rough, rough rock and a rustic, but I think there's a huge market I'm missing out on. So this is a bit of a formal one, two piece. So you put your pond down, you drop this inside it, you screw this to your fence or to your wall. Your plumbing will come out down the bottom fill it up with water, turn it on, and voila, you've got yourself a, a classic water feature. Uh, we saw a little video on, I think, your Instagram yep. where you can actually see the water trickling down. You that was my original, so just checking it's going to work, mm -hmm. so I, that worked, so then I've molded that and voila. Could you put like goldfish in this pond area? Yeah. You yeah, could, yeah. okay. And, um, depending on which part of the country, I mean it's only a foot and a half deep, so mm -hmm. It's where it really gets cold, which I'm not used to, by the way. Yep. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of a problem, but down here for sure. Yeah, up north, we just bring all of our fish and ponds inside for the winter in okay. tanks, and then we bring them back out. Okay. But yeah, so that could work up where we live too. Yeah. That's really cool. You know what I just found?
What are we sitting in now? Okay, so you came in through the front, you saw the spas up there and they're all running now. Well, a spa, when you make it a little bit bigger, they yeah, were calling them spools and then they would spools. call them plunge pools. And the latest okay. name is cocktail pool. So you're sitting in, I think, about a 2,200 gallon cocktail pool. Nice, I like that name. I think this is about 10 people could sit here. Okay. We've got a, a bracing getting made with a pole here, and then there's a stone table. Oh so my you gosh. Put your drinks on there, and then you could unscrew that, take that out, and then over here, these big holes here, there's massive swim jet. So now you could swim and swim against the current as well. This really caught my eye. This is a super impressive display. Can you tell me more? I love this. Okay, so this is all on wheels, so you could move this in and out. Yeah, okay, I love it. We're going to take it into the front showroom. Okay. And um, my son Max, he's got some iguanas, and by the way, there's one of them he just threw in there ah! a minute ago. There's water that's going to come off there. Uh, there's things like these logs to get bigger ledges. This will go inside here, okay, and then it'll get screwed onto the side. Oh, so you can climb all the way up there. So this is not a completed enclosure yet. No, none of this is completed. It's filthy glass. It's got pumps, all the plumbing. Let me show you around the back. So oh, sure. The plumbing. Yeah, just close that up really bad. Just... <laughs> Yeah. She does not live in there. She's there just, just for now. <laughs> so this is all the plumbing. So oh, the, cool. each of them has waterfalls and drains. So that'll be um, pretty special when the three of them are running. And That's yep. going to look amazing all running together. That'll actually be a, a nice like attention grabber for your showroom. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And what Max is doing here is he's actually stapling in the panel to conceal the framework of this enclosure, which is exactly what we're going to be doing with our enclosures. Every time we come in here, which I guess it's only been twice, but there's something new at every turn. Yep, there so, is. So that's a really nice piece of driftwood. There's a lake not far from here. So I go down and steal bits of driftwood ah. down the lake. Oh, so this is modeled off of Texas driftwood that yep. you found? Yep. Wow. So that, that's actually for you too. That's going to go oh. in one of the enclosures and there's a bunch of pieces behind you and to the side of you. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's again a banyan tree. So one of the four foot high enclosures. This will go great up against the back of the wall. That'll be perfect. Yep, yep. A lot of them have steel in them as well, so um, they're not oh. going to break no matter what. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Yep. Okay, what is all of this now? Okay, so you know I came from Australia, so um, this is actually all going back to Australia. Oh, so is it really? this is just a bunch of ledges and um, rocks and water bowls and more and more stuff. This is still only actually probably a third of what's going back then in two weeks time. So these are actually all for Exoterra tanks, I think most of those. And then whatever other tanks anyone wants, you can put the bowls in. By the way, do you know with our rocks, you can just cut holes in them and make hides out of any of them. You, right, you know, right. Yeah. yeah, you could cut uh, a hole anywhere in this to make yeah, it a it hide. Yeah, could be a basking spot and a hide. Yep. So to everyone who's watching this, those decor kits, that our snake discovery decor kits, do you recognize this water dish from them? This is the exact same water dish and this is where they all come from. That's a lot bigger than Rex. It fits! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to fit as well as it is. Is that a caiman that you just took out? It is. I wanted to show you this. This is one of two. This is a little baby caiman. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh! Oh, did you have them here to put in one of those displays? Um, we, we still have to make a big enclosure for them, but you know, Aww. we'll see. You use them as your, your models to mold off of too, right? <laughs> I, I haven't molded any. I don't think they'd sit still long enough. <laughs> Probably not. Aww. This is gorgeous. I love that you have reptiles here too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I grew up, that's how I got into a lot of the backgrounds and all of that, because I grew up in Australia keeping all these, you know, catching long neck eastern long neck turtles and bearded dragons and water eastern water dragons and all of that stuff so i, I always loved it and it just happened to be that i ended up 
making a product that could easily be a good habitat for them. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I know, it's okay, it's okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's a little bit bigger, this one. Wow. Hey. They're such angry looking faces. <laughs> You're right, they look constantly angry, don't yeah. they? Yours looks a little more, more this, judgmental. <laughs> this one's more angry, yeah. More angry? <laughs> <laughs> So we don't have these in Australia at all, and you could never get these. Okay. You know, here yep. you have all these access to all these amazing frogs, lizards, crocodiles, everything. Where in Australia, you, just, yeah. you can't have one of these. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're they're easy to handle now. <laughs> no, but, oh, I know, man. And they're four four and a half feet, five feet. Yeah, really. I don't know whether they'll be doing this. <laughs> We've been talking about it. After Rex, our alligator passes yep. away. A caiman is probably what we would adopt after that. Okay. So, okay. Someday. We're now in the glass building, so uh, my eyes are immediately drawn to this glass tank. This is all made out of glass, we've got the overflow in the back, but if we do an about turn here, you'll see some taller ones as well. This is another glass enclosure. These are all stands all ready to ship. Tom and the boys are brilliant with the acrylic. So look at the size of that acrylic tank here. That's huge. Yep. Yeah. Is that going to be for fish? Um, yeah, it is, it is. I think it's for... Um, cold water fish, oh oh okay you know? yeah wow that's insane next up is what i'm told is a real rock under this being molded it is so this is about two thousand pound real rock underneath here so that's what i was saying before that i'd love to get real rocks or real trees whatever and take molds from so we just use this latex rubber which anyone can buy pretty much paint that over and we've got to do this many times once we've done that then this you'll see here actually it's nearly ready so you'll peel this off and voila we'll have the skin to make this many 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 times over this this will turn into a bridge stone so you know when you go over a little creek or a little stream yeah and you want to have a rock to step over that yeah that's what this will be so these are going to be like stepping stones to yep. be placed where you can walk from one to the next correct oh yeah. cool yeah. well Stuart, thank you so much for the tour today that was incredible we don't want to give away everything that we're bringing home so we're going to save some as surprises but we're going to leave the truck here to have it loaded up and yep. we'll see how that goes i don't know okay. if it's all going to fit though i don't think so i don't think so but we'll do a real good job and uh and it'll be like one big mess unpacking it but, oh yeah but it'll, it'll work it'll work well the panels for example they're just gonna lay flat 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 yeah so they're gonna take up little space but cover a lot of your walls but some of the big trees and big rocks are gonna right. consume a lot of that truck space and honestly ed and i haven't seen everything ourselves no. like rex's pool the anaconda pool the yep. turtle enclosure we haven't seen any of that so it's gonna yep. be a surprise when we unload it it'll Ab be like christmas absolutely yeah. <laughs> we yep. can't and wait thank you for the tour and we'll get out of your hair so okay. we don't take up much okay. more of your time okay. thank you thank you well, while Stuart and his amazing team here at Universal Rocks loads up the truck, I'd like to thank everybody for watching today's video. And as always, thank you to the Patreon backers for your amazing support. Thank you for the opportunity to come down here. We were able to use, utilize some of your funds in order to make this trip possible. So thank you to everyone involved, and we'll see you next time. Hey, I've finished the truck. That, you wait. Oh. You've got the bad job. You've got to unload it. It's <laughs> packed so tight. It's crazy. <laughs> Is it cool. really? Yeah. Oh, and no. what do you got my camera for? Uh, I've got what I need <laughs> and I'm just going to take off. <laughs>